I'm Bhanu Sridharan and I'm a senior reporter at Citizen Matters Bengaluru. I'm here to tell you about a four-lane expressway that might come through the Banargatta National Park. The National Highways Authority of India is planning to build a four-lane expressway through the Banargatta National Park, one of the few protected areas left within Bengaluru Urban District. The road, which is part of the Bharat Mala Pariyojana scheme, will connect towns like Hosur in Tamil Nadu to satellite towns around Bengaluru like Anikal, Sarjapura and Dorbalapura. And a 3.85 km stretch of this expressway will cut through Banargata National Park. The expressway is intended to divert uh, commercial traffic like trucks that currently pass through Bengaluru city to reach these towns. Banargata National Park is located in south of Bengaluru city. It's one of the smallest protected areas at approximately 260 square kilometers. Banargata is home to several endangered mammals including elephants, leopards, gaur, wild dogs, cheetal, sambar and slender lorises. The park even boasts of two tigers as of 2023, making Bengaluru the only metropolitan city in the world to have tigers within its limits. NHAI is planning to build 3.85 kilometers of this uh, expressway through the core zone of the national park and approximately two kilometers through the eco-sensitive zone or the buffer zone of the national park. This will require the diversion of 11 hectares of forest from the core zone and about 5.7 hectares of forest from the buffer zone of the park. The project has already been cleared by the Ministry for Environment, Forest and Climate Change and the National Wildlife Board. It is only waiting for clearance from the Forest Advisory Committee at this point. Banargata is already a very linear wildlife habitat. At some stretches, it's, it's so narrow, it's only about 100-150 meters of forest uh, habitat available for wildlife, especially for large mammals like elephants. Several parts of Banergata is already being used for um, zoo, for the for tourism purposes. There's a resort, uh, there is safari happening, and uh, so many other activities within the national park itself. Like if it was thousand or thousand five hundred square kilometers, yes, I think we could have said okay, a small portion of it can be utilized for constructing a elevated highway. Uh, Banergata is only 260 square kilometers, uh, especially when you consider that you have species like elephants, which need, which are landscape animals. They move over vast areas for, for their resource requirement and also for uh, mating, uh, especially the bulls. Banergata is part of the Nilgiri's Eastern Ghats elephant landscape. This is an approximately 12,000 square kilometer area through which elephants move every year. Losing this land will only push elephants further into fields and farms, creating conflicts in other areas. The indirect impacts of such development is borne by communities which are actually marginal, uh, which are dependent on land for their livelihood, like farmers around Banergata National Park. And Banergata is one of the uh, hotspots of human elephant conflicts in Karnataka. But NHAI's justification is that the project will decongest Bengaluru and reduce pollution within the city. So somebody else is bearing the cost of uh, convenience for other people. You know, it's the convenience for Bangaloreans. It's the convenience for city dwellers. But the cost is borne by somebody else. And we keep shifting this cost from one area to another area. The Environment Ministry cleared the project under the condition that the road, the expressway will become an elevated flyover with a minimum height of 10 meters within the national park. Interestingly, according to the minutes of the meeting of the National Wildlife Board, which was considering the proposal, NHAI has only committed to a 9 meter height for this expressway. As you know very well how nice road is already congested, this peripheral ring road will, will also be extremely congested. And that's certainly going to impact wildlife in so many different manners. We only think wildlife being disturbed when 
a vehicle is passing and the animal cannot move from one side of the road to the other side. That's a very um, uh, naive understanding because it's very visual. We know and we can see that activity happening. That's why we think that's the only disturbance. Uh, but when you look at the ecology of the animal, there are a lot more disturbances that happen and we do not understand these things and we do not take into consideration. And it's not just wildlife biologists who are worried about the impacts of this project. Many Bangaloreans are objecting to this proposal. There is also an online petition to realign the road route. So we began this campaign because we felt that uh, Bangalore has already lost considerable green cover in the past four decades. And the mere construction itself would uh, hinder the free movement of animals. So what we are technically doing is that snatching that habitat from the wildlife and then we complain of encroachment by the wildlife in our urban areas. Through the petition, through the petition as a medium, we have garnered over 13,000 uh, signatures, like 13,000 people are currently supporting us in this. We've set ourselves a target of 20,000 people to support us because that's when we are taking this petition and delivering these signatures to the Forest Advisory Committee. And as for us Bangaloreans, we do have a question to answer. Can we afford to lose more green cover and natural spaces for infrastructure? If you allow this to happen now, you don't know what all might happen in the future and eventually you will become like this concrete jungle that is, um, you know, no, no fresh air, no greenery around, etc. And that's not the future that people want. Um, so it's a time where Bangaloreans, the government, everyone have to think seriously that uh, should we prioritize development even in places like Banergata National Park. Yes, we need development. There's no doubt, doubt about it. But uh, I think it's a time where we need to uh, zone, create zones where uh, development takes uh, priority and some zones where nature takes priority. And in my opinion, strongly, I feel Banergata National Park should be for wildlife and not truly for developmental activities.